Hello and welcome to Complete Games with me James. Hope you guys are all doing well and I'm back with a channel update for the month of June. So we'll start by having a look back at the month of May and some of the things that we did and the analytics on the channel. We gained 126,000 views, 764 subscribers, there was 3,221 likes across all videos and 236 dislikes. So as always, welcome to all the new subscribers and thank you very much for all the comments across all videos. Apologies for the lack of content over the last week. What with the quarantine being slightly lifted, I've been able to spend some time with my family and friends and I've been locked up in this house with me and Molly since February. So at least we're getting to go outside and things are starting to come to an end. So I've not been able to be as active in this last week as I wanted to. So looking back at the month of May, we managed to finish off all of the survivor notes for the island map. In fact, I've just finished editing the Nerva part two notes. So that is gonna be live by the time this video is out. So if you haven't checked out any of the island story or the lore, go and have a look at them videos because they're now finished. And I'm considering doing one more of these videos, perhaps a condensed version where I give my views about the thoughts on all of the survivors. So if you'd like to see that, comments down below see what you'd think i have a few ideas about where rockwell's house was and just going over the notes in general in a condensed form so i suppose if you go through all eight videos there's quite a lot there but if you'd like a more condensed version of it then let me know down in the comments because i could come up with another video it just means i've got to sort of think about this one and, and script it a little bit but i reckon that might be a fun project for me to do in the background also in the month of may we managed to finish subnautica fantastic survival crafting building game and really enjoyed that i've also done some hints and tips on it but it was a great survival game and i know it's not got as much love as the art content but i really did enjoy making that series and some of the intros and things that i did i really pushed myself editing wise to get them really quite immersive and uh, yeah go back and check that one out if you haven't already i've also got some hints and tips videos out on subnautica so if you're slightly interested go and check out that series because that's now finished and i'm really pleased to have that one done i have done a few streams as well throughout may on twitch and if you want to see me live on twitch just follow me down there and i'm going to start announcing on twitter i haven't got that many followers so follow me down there but i'm going to start announcing on twitter when i'm going to go live because i find it very difficult to stick to a schedule when i end up going live five or six hours can pass and trying to do youtube and twitch is just really really hard but at the same time i want to do some live streams and i want to keep it separate from youtube if twitch is your thing come down and join me on there drop me a follow It'd be lovely to see you last month i mentioned i was going to open the paypal donation link i couldn't get that to work properly so i've now created a patron and if you'd like to join and become a patron and support me well i'd really appreciate it but the tiers that i'm going to offer uh, naming rights tiers in the games that I play. I know it's not much, but there will be producer credits and various things like that. I think that's as much as I can offer without excluding anybody from anything. So um, I didn't want to make my Discord exclusive because I love the people on my Discord and you're all welcome to join, by the way. I have plenty of people on PlayStation and Xbox who are fans of ARK, so you're more than welcome to come and join us down there. And the Discord itself is growing really well and I'm all a little bit new to it. I do need to sort out some moderators and organize things a little bit more, but I've managed to get some levels for interaction within the Discord. And you know, it's just, it's just a cool place to hang out. I'm starting to get to know a few of you. The Discord itself was really, well, it's my personal Discord, but it's really been set up to help my ARC server members and I've got a ARC server running. It's a cluster server, which has got Genesis and Ragnarok running. So if you'd like to join, you're more than welcome. Just give me a shout on Discord. And if not, there's also some Xbox and PlayStation players there as well. You can put a shout out for a group down there. But if you just want to be a little bit closer to the channel and you want to join that community, then by all means, join the Discord. And another special announcement, right after this video goes live, I will be posting the first episode of the new game we're gonna be playing on the channel. Now, I know a lot of you didn't see this one coming, but I really hope you enjoy it. 
we're going to be playing City Skylines. Now, there is a new DLC out for City Skylines, and I've got all of the DLC, and it's a game I really love. And since the Sunset Harbour DLC has been released, I just it's just piqued my interest back in the game again. So I've set up a challenge, and you can see about that pretty much after the video. I'm running a competition as well, so if you would like to win a copy of SimCity, just look out for that video, and all you've got to do is type win somewhere in the comment down below underneath that video. It kind of helped me get started by getting a few comments in and uh, you can win a copy of the game. In fact, I've got two copies of the game to give away and some of the radio DLC for it as well. I'm really looking forward to doing this one as well because some of the mods that I'm going to be using are going to make me edit the game in a way that I doubt that you've seen. My plans for City Skyline is going to be a series that you can just chill out and relax to. Just follow along and a lot of people say they love chilling out and hey I'm gonna get the popcorn out and watch one of my videos so I really hope you enjoy this one even if you don't play the game there's something quite hypnotic about watching a little city grow and I'm trying to edit in such a way that I'm throwing in some really cool music and some cut scenes and just I'm really experiment I'm loving experimenting with editing in this particular game um, it's really suiting my style, or at least I'm loving doing it. So I'm very much looking forward to sharing City Skylines with you lot, and I really hope you enjoy this one. I do explain more about the premise and how we're gonna complete it when it goes live, but I do hope you come and check that one out and support me down on there. And on the community section of YouTube, I put up a vote as to where you would like me to build in Scorched Earth. And just checking back, there was actually an overwhelming amount of votes on that and it would seem that we're going to be going to the Twin Peaks. I'm really pleased you guys picked that one because um, I've been thinking about some cool builds that we can do with the Adobe stuff and there's a lot of flat sections there so I'm going to be able to do some nice edits and when I pull in and pull out on an episode. Um, it's going to be nice to be set up on the Twin Peaks. I think that pretty much covers everything for this month. And if you'd like to win a copy of SimCity, then come into this video and just comment and help me get started. Help me rank somewhere with a new game. And I really, really hope you enjoy this one. But that's about it for me on this month's update. Thank you very much for all of the support as always. And until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.